true story, I was so eager to see this film that as soon as I saw it available on YouTube, I just bought it. I should have checked my Crave account first, I could have gotten it for free, but whatever. Now I'm proud owner of Digital Mass Mickelson growing potatoes and giving it 100% in his natural habitat. Hey, I'm Robin, I love history, but I'm better at watching movies, so here we talk about historical film and TV. The very first thing I want to get out of the way, that I don't think it's a historical epic as it is tagged on IMDb. Sure, there is on-location filming and authentic period costumes and the historical setting is just absolutely lovely, but without action scenes on a big scale and a budget just under 10 million euro, for me it just doesn't cut it, it didn't feel like it. And what's up with action adventure pitch? No, 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 no baby, no. The promised land was never meant to carry such a promise, that's like Gladiator 2 job when it comes out. In fact, the Danish original title Bastarden is way more fitting for the film than uh, its English equivalent. In 1755 the real Ludwig von Kallen did indeed ask for a noble title and a manner to go with it for his efforts to cultivate the inhospitable Jutland of northern Denmark. The thing is, nobody truly knows his heritage, but the film makes a really smart choice by making him a son of a nobleman and a housemaid, thus increasing Ludwig's needs to be accepted by the higher society. Okay, so fine, now we have a personal pride involved to send Mass Mikkelsen's character on an adventure, but is it really an adventure from audience's perspective, the way we perceive it? And I don't mean from philosophical point of view, like life is an adventure, I mean it from purely entertainment perspective. It didn't strike me as one, but here's some good news, at least the film sticks to historical facts. The actual struggle for the real Danish soldier Ludwig was actually keeping his workforce. It was rough, the first two families, at least as recorded, left him and deserted him after the first week, and then he stuck to his plan for eight years before he eventually gave up and left. And what Bastarden does fantastically is borrowing those facts and that very essence of what happened and giving it to us in a kind of simple but very effective way. Sure, it might not be a hardcore survival story as The Revenant, but I don't think it's meant to be. It's meant to represent a simple life and the human relations in a way that it's relatable to us. But before I get carried away, I have to be honest, the first 10 minutes was a rough start for me, a very rough start. I mean, the soldier, retired soldier, polishing his only medal that he gained for 25 years of service, it's very emotional. But then he just shows up at the authorities and says, hey, what's up? I know what I'm doing, just you don't have to pay me, just give me a noble title, even though I hate to be one of you, uh, what say you? And they say, hey, no brainer, we get it, we don't have a risk, we potentially can get a reward and you're gonna fail anyway, so title can be dumped in the dumpster. A few minutes later, in about five locations of digging, he's finally like, voila, I'm ready to settle, I just need a workforce, so he comes across a couple that ran away from their douchey and abusive landlord and gives them a job and a shelter that God knows who built, and the adventure becomes growing taters. What's taters, Brussels? Potatoes. For me, that's where the film could have started. And if you read the book on screenwriting, Save the Cat, you'll know exactly what I mean. And if you haven't, it's basically that besides the inciting incident, our hero or heroess must save the cat, which is a metaphor for doing any good deed. And it doesn't even matter if the deed is minor or major. The point is to make the hero empathizable, empathizable, empathetic, empathetic. The point is to introduce more than one trait to the character. All I got from the first 10 minutes is Ludwig's stoicism. The guy is a rock, but show me, show me what can potentially crack the man or at least make him smile just a little tiny bit. Give me something. The first 10 minutes is the only problem I have with the film. When it stops rushing and settles into what it actually is, it's like this magical vine that just mesmerizes you and before you know it, you all wrapped into it. It's just gorgeous. It's one of my favorite Mass Mikkelsen's roles now. 
I mean, we as a North American, at least audience, we're used to him playing all these villainous characters and he's fantastic in them, but we're used to him delivering in a certain way. But when he speaks Danish, it's a whole other story. I mean, obviously he sounds different. So much, so much more. But the look in his eyes is also different and it feels different as a bilingual actor, I can say that no matter how fluent you are in a tongue that is not your native, there's always this thin physical and emotional veil you need to pierce to get to true authentic self. Ludwig von Kallen shows us Mass Mikkelsen that I think we haven't seen yet. Supporting cast is great, cinematography is absolutely captivating, costumes are authentic without any sort of alterations and flamboyancy that can take you out of the period, Props look like well-preserved museum pieces to the point that I actually felt sorry for the actress in the shot that is holding the cake. Imagine just holding it, even if it's hollow. Biceps, gone. At the same time, there's nothing complicated about the promised land. It's simply cause and effect. It's about life. It's about expanding the limits of caring for someone rather than yourself. But you know what? Simple is often genius. And in this case, it creates a connection without a detour. Even with the rough start for me, I found it irresistible and kind of impossible to shake off. It's just cinema for the sake of cinema. Good on Denmark for this one. And you know what? <laughs> I'm kind of over on uh, spending unnecessary money on it because I don't feel like it was a waste anymore. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.